this one on. Hey guys, Tin Man the Disney Fanatic 2001 here. And now, today in this video is my DVD update for November 26, 2022. Now, before we begin this video, I just want to say I am glad that I am back on my uh, tablet as a camera. Uh, the reason was uh, the tablet had some camera problems. So, yeah, I had some camera problems because I couldn't actually uh, get to take a picture or make videos with my tablet. Uh, so, I actually had to use some different cameras for some other videos. So, if you're wondering why I haven't done any uh, videos like this with a tablet, um, that's why. So, anyways, um, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and, uh, and had a great Black Friday. So, um, in this next video, I'm gonna do my DVD update for November 26, 2022. Now, I did get some of these DVDs in the mail. Well, some of them I got from Amazon, while a few I actually got from, uh, Dollar General and, uh, Newbury Comics. Now, I'll show you, um, I'll show one of them first in a second. So, the first one I'll show you is the 2012 DVD of the Smurfs Christmas Carol DVD. Now, I actually got the Smurfs Christmas Carol DVD because I did switch over to, uh, watching the Smurfs live-action films on Movies Anywhere and on Netflix and a few other streaming apps. So that's why I never actually had a DVD copy of this, so I thought, I'm gonna buy it. And yes, I did find this one during the Black Friday sale. So here's the front, the spine, and the back. There's no bonus features on here, as far as I can tell. So this is a 2011 special, it's a 2012 DVD, by Sony Pictures Animation and Columbia TriStar. It's, it is rated G, and it is approximately 22 minutes. Um, now, I'm just going to pause the video. So now that I got the plastic taken off, let's take a look. And here is the disc for the Smurfs Christmas Carol, which has a very nice artwork. I like it. So there you go with uh, the Smurfs Christmas Carol. Definitely recommend checking out this special. The next DVD I got is Garfield Cartoon World 2 Movie Collection with Garfield's Fun Fest and Garfield Gets Real. Now, I know what you're thinking. Was I going to get the individual copies of this? Um, um, of those two movies? Well, yeah, I was. But since this one caught my eye, I figured I just want to get them both right away in this collection. And this is actually um, a little recent title. Uh, it's been available for about a year now. And uh, I'm actually a big fan of Garfield, so that's why I got this DVD. Um, sorry about that little pause there, but uh, there is a notification on my phone I had to check. So, um, but like I was saying, um, I actually decided I'm going to get them both right away in this movie collection because uh, I figured if I want to watch the Garfield movies, I would watch this one. Now, it doesn't actually say the Nickelodeon logo anywhere on the cover art, but I decided for the sake of that, because Garfield is in Nickelodeon video games, I'll consider this as a Nickelodeon title because Garfield is part of the Nickelodeon uh, video game, so. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. And again, no bonus features on here. 
uh, which is not a big deal. And if I remember right, um, oh, right, um, Garfield Gets Real is from 2007, and Garfield Fun Fest is from 2008. And this is a 2021 DVD by Nine Story Media Group. It's widescreen, it's Ray TVG, and it's approximately 155 minutes. Alright, so I got the plastic off. And here is um, the advertisement for the PBS Kids titles and the PBS Kids app. And another advertisement for Garfield and Friends Season 1 and 2, uh, which I don't have those yet, but hopefully I'll get them for Christmas. And here's the disc, right here. And I'll actually take the disc out because there is some interior artwork. Right here. Yes, it is. Very nice, sir. So there you go with Garfield Cartoon World, um, aka the Garfield, World, Garfield 2 Movie Collection, with Garfield Gets Real and Garfield's Fun Fest. The next movie I got is, is one of the rarest cartoons I have found is um, Bruce Barry's The Roach Approach, the main event. Now, I did actually watch the trailer for this Zombie Pet Alien DVD, and I thought the cartoon looked pretty interesting, so I figured I'm gonna buy this for my cartoon collection. And it is Volume 2. I did read the information on this. Now, I actually have not seen the cartoon, so I can't actually say whether it's good or whether it's bad. Um. But one day when I sit down and watch it, I'll give you my full opinion on this. Um, I don't have Volume 1 or 3 yet. Um, but I will- But I'm planning to get those at some point. So here's the front, and the spine, and the back. And the uh, bonus features are... The Inside Scoop, Journey Behind the Scenes, Creative Team Members, Meet the Roach Rangers, Imagine with Bruce, and the Roach Approach, Slingshot Slugger Preview. Oh, and the critic review says, A great story to teach and entertain children, says the Dove Foundation. I believe this is a 2005 DVD by Dove Entertainment and Whack. Bruce Berry's Wacky World Studios and 20th Century Fox. It's not rated, and it is 38 minutes total. And here are the advertisements uh, for some other Road to Pro titles. Right here. There's a road to approach and stuff there. And here's the DVD guide. It does contain eight chapters. And advertisement for the first one. The first volume, which I will get at some point. And here's the disc. Which does have very nice artwork. So there you go with the road to approach the main event. Um, so yeah, that's the Amazon titles. And the next one I got from Dollar General is Ghostbusters One and Two. Now, I did actually watch the first Ghostbusters, and it was a great movie. Um, it was so great, in fact, I figured I'm gonna get this on DVD for my movie collection. Now, I am sure there is a Blu-ray release of the Ghostbusters films, but I figured, just for the sake of 
adult time entertainment, I'm just gonna stick with the DVD copy. And it is the two movie collection. Now, this is actually the reissue copy. I have seen the original box set version, which did come with a little book, and it tells you all about the the production of the films and how Ghostbusters was made and how popular it was since the 1980s. And now I don't act um, I don't actually have the original version, but. I have seen what it looks like on YouTube from, I believe it was, Wet's Media Corner, 1996. Um, I think that's how I said his name right. I'm not sure, but... Um, but he was the guy who, uh, did a review of this DVD. Um, of that DVD. And yes, I, I do prefer the classic Ghostbusters, and not the later ones. So, anyways, here's the front, and the spine, and the back, and here's the information for Ghostbusters 1. Ghostbusters 1 was released in 1984, Ghostbusters 2 was released in 1989. This DVD was reissued in 2017. Both movies are rated PG, and I believe... Ghostbusters 1 is 105 minutes, and Ghostbusters 2 is 108 minutes. And I don't know if there's any bonus features listed on this DVD, in cover or not. Um, I don't see them anywhere, but they might be on here as well. Uh, so I'm gonna pause the video again to open this up. Alright, now that I got the plastic off, let's take a look. So here is disc 1, and here's disc 2, which do have a very nice artwork. I like it. So there you go with Ghostbusters 1 and 2 excellent movies. And the last DVD I'm going to show that I got from Newberry Comics since I saved it, that's for last. Now like, remember I told you that that I would do a DVD review of a cartoon that I did by Newberry Comics? Well, here it is. It, this is Studio Ghibli's Ponyo. This is my first and so far only Studio Ghibli film I have. Now, I wasn't sure if I would actually get this cartoon from my library or not, because I feel like anime is sort of different than American animation. But uh, after getting to know how anime it really is and how popular it's been since probably way back in the day, I figured I am going to buy this one and see if I like anime or not. Um, and yes, this is also the reissue copy as well. And I do count this as a Disney title, so. Here's the front. It says, Visually Dazzling, A Charming Adventure, stayed by Claudia Puig, USA Today. There's front. And there's the spine. The other spine, and here's the back. And it says, Magical, an extraordinary vision to a, to a, of a dazzling undersea world rich with visual wonders. And it's stayed by Kenneth Turan, Los Angeles Times. Oh, and yes, this one does come with this. And the bonus features are Behind the Microphone, Creating Ponyo, Ponyo in Fujimoto, The Nursery, Scoring Maya Zika, Producer's Perspective Telling the Story, The Locations of Ponyo, 
original theatrical trailers and TV spots. I believe this is a 2008 film, and I believe it was reissued later on. Well, I know that the Disney version was released in 2009, uh, but I don't know what year this was reissued, so I can't say. Uh, but it is a later release by Shout Factory and Studio Ghibli, and by Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment. It's rated G, and it is 103 minutes. Okay, now that I got the plastic taken off, let's take a look. And so here is the advertisement for the other uh, Studio Ghibli films. So see right here. And on the back there is the steel books. And here is the disc right here. Oh, and I'll take the disc out again because there is some interior artwork as well. Yes, it's very nice artwork. And that about does it for my DVD update for on November 26, 2022. And thanks for watching. Um, and but now I'm gonna pause on the DVD updates until a later date, which will be right after Christmas and right before New Year's Day. So uh, thank you for watching this video and have a good day, YouTube.